Welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's do some more draft prospect breakdowns. Today, we're going to look at a running back this time. Little Max Borgie. Uh, 5'10", 205. Really good pass catcher in 2019, as you can see here. 86 catches, 597 yards. That's something the NFL teams will truly covet. And, I mean, this is today's NFL. It's not just a bell cow. It's a committee in the running back field. And that's something we want to look at in production. So, plus, what's the first thing that stands out for you for Max Borgie? Yeah, Max is just, I mean, very simple runner. He's not going to try to do too much. He, he knows his uh, athletic ability, and so he's just a one-cut-and-go type of dude. Uh, but he shows really good patience, good vision, and he's got good contact balance, as you see here, being able to get downfield and break break some tackles. Like you said, doesn't doesn't want to do too much, but a one cut and go. I mean, setting up this block here, let it get in there, cut on a dime, go, get upfield. And like you said, a little contact balance here to just get low, make a little spin off the tackles, and continue forward. I mean, it's nothing special. He's just feeling where to go, reading the blocks. Where is it going to go? Where's my alley? There we go. Find it and go. Nothing was ex too explosive, but it's just reading reading where to be. I mean, let the offensive lineman do the work for you and then just get upfield. A lot of things to like. Nothing's elite, but there's a lot of good things. I mean, even here, he's getting lost in a little crowd here. Where the heck is he? Pops out, just gets upfield. He's not going to truly run over anyone, but he's just doing enough, right? So what do you like with him? Yeah, it, it's all about, you know, effort. And he's going to give you maximum effort on each play. You know, he's always 100 full speed ahead. Uh, so you really like that about him. Very intelligent player. Uh, he knows... He just has very good awareness, and I think that's very important for a running back, especially with his kind of athletic ability that's really not going to you know, wow anybody, but he knows how to maximize his plays. And I think that's very important, especially at the next level, uh, where you have to be that north and south type of runner uh, because everyone is so fast at the next level. So it's going to be important for him to really learn how to you know, play behind his scheme and making sure he's maximizing his opportunities. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch on this one. So he's dead in the streets, right? Linebacker's coming right at him. No, he's smart enough to know I still got a guy that's going to come out here and give me a block, stall a little bit, hop, step, jump, cut. And there you go. I mean, yeah, like I said, he's not going to run over anyone as he gets pummeled there. But smart player, knows how to set up blocks, and just not doing too much. And this is he's going to win consistently. It's just doing the right thing over and over and over again. You don't have to make the flashy play. Just do the right play. And that's what it is. Just finding the space, reading your blocks. It's not in the middle. Get outside. Get up front. I mean, some running backs, they can make this jump cut look insane, like huge. He just doesn't have that. He doesn't have the size. He doesn't have the explosion or just top-end speed. But like I said, he's doing a lot of the good things. And this is probably the best part of his game, pass catching. And I'll let you talk more on this one. Yeah, I mean, and this is really where his role is going to be defined at the next level, and that's catching the football, as you see here, ability to catch it out in space and then make a guy miss. And then, again, enough speed to, to make something happen here and find the, find the end zone. So it's really impressive. But, again, just catching the football, being aware, knowing how to, like right here, sit in zones and, and be an option for your quarterback is, is really nice. Catching it smoothly and then getting upfield. Uh, so – that's probably where his strengths are going to be, especially in the NFL. Like you said, being aware, just get your damn head around. I mean, this is something where running backs either just do it too slow. They're not presenting a target for their quarterback, and the quarterback has to throw it to the ground because the guy's head didn't get around. I mean, this is just knowing time in the pocket. Do I got to present myself as a target? Yeah, and then I can do things like this, one-handed damn ball, and then get upfield. Like that, that's disgusting. Break down that one. Yeah, it's really nice just showing off his hand ability, and it's definitely a strong point. And I think that's, you know, super impressive just being able to catch it like that and then, you know, run up field. Again, really nice here, you know, knowing his quarterback's in trouble. Oh, I'm going to block. No, I'm going to go out for a pass. You know, it's just, it's just really good awareness, understanding where the space is and running to that space. Um, so this is where he's got to take his game. Uh, into that next level, and I think that's where he's going to fit the best at. Yeah, quarterbacks would love this guy. This is a guy that's just going to find those little, look at this. I mean, just finding the zones and the, oh, I'm open. I got my head around. And my, my hands are up. Smooth, natural hand catcher and get upfield. Quick, look at that. Immediately see it in, turn my head around, get upfield. This is humongous. Uh, to me, like, 
He's a poor man Eckler from the Chargers. That's what I see him as, like shiftier instead of speed and, and elite speed and characteristics like that. A lot of people see white guy with a headband, Christian McCaffrey. No, he's a little bit different than that. Break it down here, too. Now, now we're looking at some of the pass blocking and then presenting yourself blocking. What do you see? Yeah, I mean, just showing right here, being physical, you know, playing till the whistle blows, um, you know, being aware, understanding, okay, the quarterback's running out. I'm going to go, you know, knock someone pretty much out of the game. And that's what he did. Uh, you know, as a pass blocker, he's he's just, he's effective. And, you know, he's a willing pass blocker, not very strong dude. Um, at times he will get pushed back, but, you know, it's something where I think he's got the fundamentals down where he can develop in that area. And, and really he's going to have to, um, especially if he wants to be probably a third down back and, 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 really grow into that role here doing just enough chopping down the defender's legs, making sure he gives his quarterback enough time. Yeah, but you got to be honest. He's not going to be an every down back. He's not going to be a guy that can stand in there consistently and do it here. He just kind of falls, <laughs> but I mean, still the effort to kind of try and get a little bit of a chip in there, not let his quarterback get taken out. But I mean, there's going to be a role for him. <clears throat> Teams are going to find a way to use him. He's not going to be a first day, second day, likely a third day. And, Find your role on a team, and he's probably going to have to start on special teams, but I think there's a good place for Max Borgie in the NFL, especially since his ability to catch the ball so well for quarterbacks. That's what this league's all about, passing the ball and catching the ball. Other than that, guys, if you like this review of Max Borgie, let us know down below in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Like the video. Help support us. And with that said, until the next one.